Former prisoners face plenty of hurdles once they're released, and one big one is regaining their right to vote. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall learned how community leaders are advocating for change. No justice, no, no peace. No Inside the Nashville NAACP branch, community leaders gather to talk about how they plan to help formerly incarcerated people restore their rights to vote. One person joining the efforts is Larry Turnley. I just turned 47, so I was 46 when the first time I ever voted. In 1996, Turnley was sentenced to life in prison for a drug conviction. But after a law change, he was let out after serving 24 years. He now advocates to help others know their constitutional rights. I didn't know how important, how important it was until I had to fight to get out of prison. Community leaders also want to change state laws and make it easier for Tennesseans to regain voting rights. The law in Tennessee disenfranchises over 421,000 people across the state. Jacola Lane helped start the Restore Your Vote project in Nashville, which educates former felons on their rights. The law denies 8.2% of the entire statewide voting age population to the right to vote, but that includes 21% of black voting age population. Senator Brenda Gilmore calls the restoration process a struggle for minorities, the elderly, and women. I am going to be reintroducing important voting bill rights in the General Assembly next year. Last year, when Turnley voted, he took his mom and had a taste of freedom. He wants others to earn back their rights and make positive changes in the community. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. Thanks, Brandon. If you or someone you know wants to regain the right to vote, we have resources on where to start on newschannel5.com.